Hi there. What I'm going to be presenting to you today is a momentum based breakout strategy that can be used with the Forex dashboard. Firstly, what we're going to look at is the correlations. So I'd like you to go to my blog at www.forexwealth.blogspot.com and then you look under Forex Tools and then you click on Currency Correlations and it'll take you through to a site that um, you'll be able to compare the correlations between different currencies. Now what you would you should be looking at is correlations uh, that are above 80% both on the hourly and the 24 hour chart as well. Right now we're going to look at the actual correlations with the currencies. When the euro goes up um, and the euro is the most widely traded uh, currency that with the euro the cross of the euro USD um, the currencies that correlate quite nicely with the euro are the Aussie the Aussie dollar and the Swiss the Swiss franc now when one of these moves all of those should have a movement there should be a correlating moving the other that gives you a early warning signal as to what what is actually going on in the market and normally when these are moving up the US dollar is moving down if we look at commodities when oil goes up gold is normally uh, correlating with it and vice versa but um, lately that correlation has broken down quite a bit so don't pay too much attention to that um, a nice move is when all three of these are moving in the same direction stocks gold and oil. Then what you find is the Japanese yen and the US dollar weaken. Especially the um, correlation between stocks and the Japanese yen. That is very high as, as well as um, the US dollar. And gold and oil in relation to the US dollar. This is just a... these rules are, are not um, hard and fast rules they are indications of what um, you know can happen in the market so it gives you clues as to where the market is heading so you must always bear that in mind when you when you're trading um, here we have the Forex dashboard so I'm going to go through an example here uh, you've got your overall strengths here you've got your commodities stock indices and you've got your individual currencies in the lower section over here. So we're just going to zoom in a bit. Alright, so what you want to be looking at is on your overall strengths, these are all currencies measured against a basket of currencies. So um, you want to be looking at the stronger currencies or if it's the weaker currencies, it doesn't matter. Um, but you're basically looking at strong against weak. So in this instance you can see the Aussie dollar is um, is strong and that correlates quite nicely with the euro. The Swiss is lagging a little bit behind here and the weakest is the Japanese yen followed by the US dollar. So your automatic choice would be to look at either the Aussie or the euro. Let's say we went with euro long against uh, the Japanese yen. So long euro and short Japanese yen or euro against US dollar. Now as I told you when markets are up as we see here there's a total average of 80 above you know, 80 percent, 87 percent um, you will see a corresponding effect on the Japanese yen and the US dollar. So that's what I like to see is as soon as it, the markets are reaching a uh, above a 70% uh, strength, I would then like to see um, the Japanese yen and US dollar below 30 before I, I start looking at you know possible trades. And then if we're looking at the uh, currency that we want to uh, match it against, that should be above um, you know 60, 70% at least. And then lastly, below here you look at the corresponding um, these are the individual currencies that you would be trading. So you can see the Euro USD 
is um, at the top of its range and then corresponding to that you're seeing the USD Swiss at the bottom of its range which um, shows you that there's um, a strong correlation. Now I'm going to show you a live um, example of um, the Euro USD and um, a breakout that, that um, you could trade. Okay, so here we have the Euro USD 15 minute chart. First thing I'm going to do is put in the lines of resistance, which is about there. Doesn't have to be exact. And that's the support level over there. So we looking at according to that that previous um example on the on the forex dashboard we're looking at the euro getting stronger and the us dollar getting weaker so it'd be monitoring the euro against the usd as well as the the stock markets stock markets need to stay high and the us dollar and the japanese yen need to stay low and the euro needs to stay the overall strength needs to stay above the um at least 60% level. Right, so I'm also going to put in a projection here with this Fibonacci tool to see where the price may possibly go. So you're taking it from um, your low to your high. Normally what happens is you have a uh, a pullback to the 38 or maybe 50% level and then your projection is um, it'll test the high over here, and you're looking at a either 1.618 or 2.618 level projection. All right, so let's see what happens here. All right, it tests the level as you can see, the the level of um, re resistance. All right, now it's testing, testing. There it breaks out. Okay, and now it comes back down again. And there, we're looking at it wants to break through the 1.618 level. You could either get out there or maybe take half your profits. It depends how you want to trade it. And now it will be heading up to the 2.618 level. And there, you see it breaks that level and it comes back down. Right, now that, that was just a... Um, a brief example, there's many ways that you can trade um, that, that breakout, but what I'm getting at is you need to be looking at the correlations between the various currencies, the stock markets, so you need to monitor what is happening um, with, with the, the various markets and the, cor the correlation between the currencies themselves to give you ideas of when the move is going to happen because normally what happens is one of the um, currencies will move before the other or maybe the stock market comes down, the US dollar um, gets weaker um, there will be a whole lot of signs that you can see um, and as you become more familiar with this um, method you will see that it's a very effective way of trading the uh, currency markets. Anyway, that uh, is the end of the um, presentation. I hope um, that this will help you in your, your trading. And um, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.